does it. It's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Got a classic from Motley Crue today, Smoking in the Boys' Room, their cover of Smoking in the Boys' Room. Uh, it's really fun to play and not pretty easy to play, except for the solos. Got some slide and kind of normal finger-styled guitar um, at the same time, um, which I'm going to attempt to do, even though I'm not much of a slide player, but, you know, I'll get it done. Anyway, before I get into that, please subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. And please check out my Guitar Academy. You'll see a link in the description below. My Guitar Academy contains all my guitar courses covering, uh, you know, complete, from complete beginner stuff to a more advanced courses in improvisation and technique and ear training and theory and guitar tone. So uh, please go check it out. Got a great community. And I'd love for you to join us. Um, so uh, let's dive into this. We are in uh, D standard. So what does that mean? D standard means every single string on the guitar is tuned down a whole step. Very common thing that Mick Mars does. Um, so that means the low E string becomes a D. The A string becomes a G. D string becomes a C. G string becomes an F. B string becomes an A. And the high E string becomes a D as well. I'll put those notes in the description as well too. I know I kind of flew through it. All right, so let's start with the intro here. All right, so pretty simple stuff. We're, we're at the sixth fret on the A string. We're gonna do a power chord off of it. So sixth fret on the A, eight on the D. So you pick that and slide up to the seven. So that's all the move that we're doing here. Repeat. And at the end of it, he just when he moves up, he kind of just kills it. Uh, and then we actually get to the verse, um, which is kind of a continuation of that a little bit. Looks like this. All right, so we, we start with that same slide from the power chord of the sixth fret up to the seventh. And you just let that ring. Then do the same thing, but down here at the second fret off the A string. So this is B power chord. Obviously, it's a C now, but I'm not even going to rename these things. That would drive me nuts. So uh, kind of a B power chord. Pick that, slide up to the so from two to three. But then you do that twice. So we have this. So basically the verse is just this once, and then this slide from two to three twice. Just slide this power chord. Same second fret on the A, fourth on the D, slide it up. Repeat. All right, then we get to the chorus. Now the chorus is where we got some action. Uh, <laughs> Um, so this, the core, each chorus has uh, kind of a different set of fills for the most part. There's, the third chorus doesn't have any fills, but uh, so that's basically what we're going to be covering. We'll do this kind of standard one four five blues thing that they got going on, um, and then he throws some fills in there. So I'm going to have to go through each chorus and just show you the individual fills. So the first chorus looks like this. <laughs> All right, so that starts, we got a kind of a Chuck Berry thing going on here. You can play this with whatever finger you like. I think Mick Mars likes to play it like this. So it's fifth fret on the low E, seventh fret on the A. So you, like I said, you can play that with whatever finger you want. But what's gonna happen after that? Kind of hit that a couple times. Kind of a little shuffle feel there. So pick that a couple times, and then you're gonna make the note on the A string go up to the nine. So it's like a sixth chord now. And then back down to the power chord. So it's kind of a, a little, kind of a blue shuffle thing. And then we take the same thing, move it to the seventh fret on the A string. So this E power chord. So small 
So let me just go through the, we have this underlying chord progression, but he keeps jumping out of it. So we go from this, actually from this A chord to this first fill. So what's that? That's a slight bend. There's a lot of pinch harmonics on these notes. So really dig in and get some pinch harmonics. That's a fifth fret on the G to the seventh fret on the, uh, I'm sorry, fifth fret on the G, seventh fret on the D. And then third fret on the A, kind of the octave lower, and then the uh, uh, fifth fret on the low E. So we're just doing this, then the same thing in octave lower. So I'm kind of really bending the notes that I'm playing with my uh, first finger, kind of slightly bending it downward. And then the same thing here, with a lot of pinch harmonics. And then so we have this. So then we go to this E chord, so it's the same thing we did here, but at the 7th fret, and you're just kind of rotating between 9 and 11 there on the D. And then... So that's the next fill, so that's kind of a bend and release at the 7th fret on the G with a little pinch harmonic once again. Pull off the 5, then go over to the 5 on the D string and pick that three times over to 7th fret on the 8th. So we have this so far. Alright, now we're going to go to this B. So it's the same thing we did at the 5th fret, I'm just up at the 7th. So the B, then down to the 5th fret. Back to the 7th fret. Then just down to the standard power chord, A power chord off the fifth fret of the um, uh, low E string. And then we're back to this. We do that slide there for the six to seven slide a couple times. So the whole thing for the first chorus looks like this. All right, then it goes to the verse, which is the same as the first verse. We're just kind of holding that chord, and then do the slide twice in the second. So it's the same as the first verse. Uh, then we've got chorus number two, uh, which has, once again, the same chord, same progression, just different fills thrown in there. Um, so it looks like this. <laughs> All right, so basically the same thing. So this first fill is the reverse. Before what we did in the first chorus, we, would, we started with this. It's basically the reverse of that. So instead of going from the high to the low, we go low to high. So we start here, third fret on the A, the fifth fret on the low E, and then go up the octave, fifth on the G, seventh on the D. So it's just kind of reversing what we did before. All right, uh, so lots of pinch harmonics and then and then we have this second fill in that second chorus, is which is sliding into the seventh fret of the A string. Then. So you do that slide and then kind of pick the fifth fret on the D string a few times. Some harmonics in there if you want. And then back to that uh, E at the seventh fret of the A string. And then the same thing. All right, then uh, we have the harmonica solo. All right, so this goes into this. So it's the, kind of the, I'll just show you the chord progression here. This, it starts out the same chord progression as you're going to hear in the, uh, 
and the guitar solo. So I'm gonna kind of play through the harmonica solo chord rhythm and then underneath the actual guitar solo stuff. So you can see the whole rhythm. So starting with harmonica and then it goes to the guitar rhythm, but it's just this rhythm guitar part, so that whole section. So it's <laughs> Now the guitar solo comes in. Alright, so it's just that kind of blue shuffle on A, so it's fifth fret on the low E, to the E at the seventh fret on the A string, back to the A, and to the B, which is at the uh, seventh fret of the low E. So then it repeats that again when the guitar solo comes in. Now we start to repeat it again, but just with the first three chords. So this time, instead of going to B, you're going to go to F sharp power chord at the second fret of the low E string. So, and then up to that B, and then into that same little riff. All right, so now we just have uh, Mick Mars solo here that we need to cover. So let me get, play through this. Now this solo was actually recorded um, a couple of overdubs, series of overdubs. So you'll hear a slide guitar part, and then there's, on a different track, it's, it's an overdub of the actual normal finger guitar parts. Um, so he, they're not actually recorded together. They're recorded separately on the recording. It's like the slide guitar has a completely different guitar tone and everything. Then in the 80s, as when they perform it, like at least throughout the 80s, the performance of the scene, he puts them together. He does both. He'll, he'll perform the slide and uh, the rest of the solo all in one. Later on, uh, when they're performing later in their career, he just kind of ditched the slide and he just kind of does his own thing with the slide parts. And so he kind of changes it up a little bit, probably irritating grabbing the slide. But I'm going to try to do the way he did it. It's on the recording and the way he did it originally back in the 80s, where he's kind of doing the slide parts and um, standard playing uh, parts as well. So here we go. So I uh, hate playing slide guitar. Everybody knows that. <laughs> not a, I'm not a slide player. I do it when I have to for the YouTube stuff, but I don't do it much, so it's probably pretty evident right now, um, especially when you're having to play uh, n normally played guitar stuff uh, around it. Why? So kind of a pain. But anyway, we're going to do it. So, like I said, these are overdubs, so if you really hate playing slide like I do, you can actually just play the same notes that I'm doing on slide and um, just play them like so. So, whatever. Kind of like he does now, live. So, looks like this. So, I'm sliding into the fifth fret on the uh, G string. Then over to the seventh fret on the D. Then go up to the ninth on the G and slide down to seven. So whatever this. And then slide into the five again on the G. Over to the seventh on the D. Kind of slide that down. So we have this. Alright, 
So I know that's uh, so that's kind of the opening thing, and then the kind of the first overdub comes in. It was. So that's the next phrase. Um, so I like this because I get to use my fingers. <laughs> So that little lick is the uh, um, fifth fret on the D. Then you gotta kind of palm muting these. Seventh fret on the D. Then seven six five on the A. Shift down to this third fret there on the A. Over to the uh, fifth fret on the low E. Now, you could do this next one here, but he actually jumps up here. So it's up at the 10th fret on the A string. Kind of a slight bend. Over to the 12th fret on the low E. And then the octave of that, which is kind of a slight bend at the 12th fret on the G string, down to the 14 on the D. Then we do this, 12. There's some pinch harmonics on these notes here. So you gotta really dig in there. So 12, slight bend of the 14 on the G, back to the 12, over to the 14 on the D. So all together we have this. So. All right, now we're back. So it keeps rotating back and forth to the, between the slide part. So we have this. So that slides into the 14th fret on the D string. And then pick 14 on the G a couple times. And then slide down to 12. Then you pick 12, back to 14 on the G. So we have this. And then back 12, 14. So. And then slide into the 14 on the B string. And then 14 on the G again. So it is. All right, from there, we're gonna kind of slide. Slide. You can get pick the like the middle two strings there, sliding up to the 16th fret. So, or the just those three strings actually, the D, G, and the B. You can pick that and slide into the 16th fret. Sorry. So as you slide up that chord, you kind of pick 16 on the G. And slide down to 14 twice. And then pick up 14 and move it back up to 16. So. So. So we have this all. All right, so that last little slide there was that slide into the 19th fret on the B, then 19 on the G, and then go back down to 16 on G. So. All right, now from there we have this. All right, so now we're gonna start this lick with a bend at the eighth fret on the B string. And then we're gonna start this little descending thing at the fifth fret on the high E. Then play eight, seven, five on the B. And then eight, seven, five on the G twice. So I this. Yeah. 
Then when you get to that five on the G, you're gonna hit it a couple times. Then go down to the seven on the D, and then you're gonna start descending again. Go back to this fifth fret here on the, uh, the G string, and then play seven, five on the D, and then seven, six, five on the A, then a kind of a little slight little bend on the third fret on the A, and then to the fifth fret on the low E. So we have this. And then we have the same thing. It's kind of the same ending that we did before. So we did that earlier in the solo after the first slide part. And then we get back to the same slide part we did before at the 12, that was sliding from 12 to 14. So it's the same thing we did before. And then we're gonna end the solo with a couple of unison bends. So that's just, you're gonna hold the second fret there on the B string and then bend up the fourth fret on the G. So play those together and until this note on the G string matches the note on the B string. So you bend that up and do it a few times. And then release that bend and then do the same thing at the seventh fret. And then, then we're back to the actual song. Um, so from there, we're gonna have what I kind of just called like the bridge. So we're, we're doing that same thing that we did in the verse, but we're doubling the six to seven slide as well. So it's kind of a different part, so it's kind of really the bridge. And then that takes us to uh, chorus number three, which doesn't have any fills in it, but it does have a different ending that kind of leads to the little breakdown section. So it looks like that. Oh, it looks like this. All right, so it's basically the same chorus, really. We don't have any fills there, though. So it's just a standard A, then E, then B, A, B, A. Kind of hold that power forward and that same thing. But after that, leaving this part, going into that breakdown section, we have that power chord is seven, nine, 10, 11. Uh, and then it's a little breakdown section. So um, that breakdown section, come it, the guitar part comes in back on the B. The... So basically halfway through the part. And then we go, that same little thing we just covered that led us into the breakdown, it just leads back to another repeat of the chorus. So then we have a, a new chorus. So this is chorus number four and this one has fills in it. So let's check this out. So this. All right, so um, um, we're basically just doing the same, this little fill, the first fill in that final chorus. So that's a kind of a pinch harmonic at the seventh fret, bend and release on the G. Pull off to the fifth fret, and then pick it a few times, the fifth fret. Over to the seventh fret there on the D. So we have this. And then up to the E, shuffle, and then we have this little. So that's gonna be. 987 on the G, then 987 on the D. Into a slight bend at the 8th fret on the G, B string. And then over to the 9th fret on the G. Play this. And 
Let in. Same thing. And then we have this outro, which is a, a, another overdub too. So what he actually does live here is just that little single melody that goes up top. So I'll cover that second though. Um, we uh, Underneath that we have some octaves and power chords and other fun stuff. So it looks like this at the ending, the, the kind of the lower part. So we have this. So that's just an octave at the seventh, the E octave, seventh fret of the A string, ninth fret on the G. Then take that down to the fourth fret. And then you're gonna do just the standard power chord at the second fret there of the, um, the B power chord off the second fret of the A string. And then. And now, down here, it sounds like you could do it. You can get this little last little bend a couple of different ways. It sounds best for me if I can do it like. I kind of do, I started at the third fret. Just bend into this up a half step. And then take it down with the bar. So. into an E power chord. Now you can recreate that as well by going ahead and fingering that note at the fourth fret instead and doing a pre-bar, kind of dip, uh, dip before the note. Then go back down. So I don't actually know how he does it, but. It's the notes that matter, right? Uh, then, so that part is. And then on top of that, we have this. So that's just that seventh fret on the A, six on, this is the part he actually plays live. So it's a seventh on the A, six on the D, then nine on the D, 12 on the D, over to 11 on the G. And then when it with this dominant ninth chord. So this is just gonna be um, the seventh fret there on the uh, the A string, six on the D, and then bar uh, across the seventh fret of the of the G B and the high E. So. All right, so that is it for smoking in the boys' room. It's a fun one once you get it down. Uh, it's a classic, and actually that solo, as much as I hate slide, I, like, I don't mind the slide. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. I, it's a great slide playing out there, trust me, but it's just not a thing that I practice much and just had much interest in. But uh, but it is kind of a, it's a really fun solo to play once you get that together. So even if you have to do the slide stuff, it, it, it's actually... Um, Pretty cool once you get it. It's really cool licks in it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.